server-side architectures, lots of options. It continues to grow. Uh, open source, uh, you know, again, just like most open source, there's going to be a learning curve, right? Uh, I, um, I played with Janice uh, a couple of years ago. I had a client that's in the surgical uh, I didn't mention that client that's doing surgical live streaming using WebRTC. They're based, uh, again, they made a decision to go uh, with a Chrome, uh, best experience with Chrome experience, but uh, they're, they're using a Janus back end. And, you know, I only had to work with the devs and vis-a-vis and -vis with FFmpeg commands. So I really didn't have to get my feet wet with Janus until very recently. And, you know, again, open source, can be really great, but you know, open source is open source and free for a reason, right? They, they're not gonna document their products very well because usually the, these teams wanna be hired by people to implement what they've made open source and they expect people to help contribute to it, right? If people are just leeching off of open source projects, particularly WebRTC, I think you may have heard me complain about this in the past. Like what's happened historically, uh, and there, uh, I think SwitchRTC was a company that fell down this path or went down this path, even with commercial products, other companies gobbled them up and wanted their team and that expertise and they end of life, their actual product. And so that, that can be problematic. Um, but you know the open source model is like you know you don't get free support you get free access to the code you can deploy it you know across uh, you know again there's very very uh, variable open source licensing licensing out there so you know do your due diligence when it comes to the legalities of what licenses are in play with open source. FFmpeg is a great example. I talk about that in my workshops. There's a lot of free stuff in, in FFmpeg, but X264 is a commercial license. If, uh, you may need a commercial license for X264, just as a side example. But anyway, my point is that open source is there. It's great. You can, you know, you, you can obviously, it, it, the, the path of like paying for something is not there usually with open source because I can just go check out a repo, try and uh, compile something on my own and get up and running, right? Um, and, and that's what I uh, have been doing with uh, products in, in prep for my workshop next week. Um, but there's also commercial license uh, uh, server products. So if you you know, want to be that, that kind of stakeholder that runs their own server architectures and you want a license to a product that you have, you know, this perception of control on in your own private, you know, setup in, in your own cloud, then go, you, you, you can explore those options too. And then there's lots of cloud services that are out there. And, and this, again, this goes in with that single stakeholder mentality where this old school mentality of platform ownership needs some uh, reformation, right? And I don't mean that in any kind of religious sense, uh, but, you know, maybe it's a little religious. You know, these days people get so, get, uh, so uh, enamored with their beliefs, it's hard to say, uh, you know, what can be changed and what can't, can't be. But um, I was recently talking to some of my friend, friends of mine that run a cloud service and said, I think that should be part of your marketing, right? Is, you know, outlining for people like, hey, you want to build out your own WebRTC infrastructure? This is your estimated cost. You want to go with us? Look how many minutes of our, our, our service and access to our support you're going to get for, you know, a fraction of that, right? Or whatever that's going to play out to be. So important to keep that in mind when you're looking at, at services. Again, the more that, that, that you know, Anytime you evaluate server-side architectures, and I'll talk about this uh, again in just a minute, uh, is you know making sure that what if you need to change? What if you need to grow and move and pivot to a certain thing? Uh, if you need to you know, migrate tech stacks, how hard is that going to be? If you need to leave that cloud service and go to another one, right? Just know what the, those costs are. You know, try and project those costs. 